do you see what I see? I think someone is trying to hide something. My name is Burp and this is my turf. I'm straight out of the thrift store. Hey, what's up? It's your boy Burf. And it's Five Thrift Store Friday. Yes, it is Five Thrift Store Friday. I am super excited to be hitting up these thrift stores and seeing what kind of goodies they got. Today's adventure is gonna be strictly 70s, 80s, and 90s toys. If we don't see 70s and 80s and 90s toys, I am not getting anything. Can I hold true to the challenge? Can I keep my word? Will Nicole be proud of me? That's the big question. <laughs> All right. So I got a challenge, 70s, 80s, and 90s toys only. Let's see if I can do it. Fingers crossed. Thrift, vintage thrift store gods be good to me today. All right, boys and girls, we're at ground zero. Let's see what we can find. Hmm. Looks like there's quite a few things on the shelves today. It's just gonna be a matter of whether or not we find any vintage toys. This is like a kangaroo or something. What's this, some sort of dollhouse? Oh, it's a schoolhouse. Well, that's kind of cool. Uh, Mason, but it's made by Batat, little wood, little woodsies. Yeah, that's super cute. All right, we got a dinosaur playset here, police car, a Leo. Oh, check out this guy. We oh, got a Jaws, man. He's pretty cool, pretty cool. Oh, look, he actually has like shading on him. Not bad. And we've got a big old elephant over here. And what's this guy? He's like a little cheapy dinosaur. And it looks like we've got a Batman. Captain America, let's see if the paint is wore off his nose. Oh, it is, as usual. I don't know what it is about these guys, but the paint is always wore off their nose. Oh, wow, look at this thing. Wow. Oh my God. <laughs> Okay, hello. <laughs> now this thing, holy crap, this thing is super cool. Oh, I know I said no 70s, 80s, only 70s, 80s, and 90s toys, but that mech suit, oh my God, who can pass that up? And look at this thing, big old scorpion. That's crazy looking. And what do we have here? I don't know what that, oh, he's a transformer, okay. And we have a How to Train Your Dragon Dragon. Oh, check out this dude. Oh, he's made out of rubber. Oh, we got another shark. We got another Jaws. Oh, wow, check this dude out. <laughs> this little minion playset. I shouldn't say little minion. It's a big minion playset. I've never seen one of those. That's kind of cool. And check this out. It's like Buzz Lightyear's. Oh, it actually makes noise and shit. I was checking to see. I don't think any of these other buttons work. Scanning Just... perimeter. Approaching destination. Reengaging gravity. I am Buzz Lightyear. I come in peace. <laughs> it's our boy Buzz. Yeah, that is cool. And what's this? Some sort of Imaginex Batmobile. Oh yeah, see? Those would fold up. Oh wow, check this thing out. Ugh. Look at that. That is awesome. Retro rocket? Wow, if I were a kid, man, this would be so awesome. Oh, it's got a broken handle, it looks like. I think. Oh yeah, it's supposed to look like that. And it's busted. I got a little mini table hockey. Whoa, check out this thing. It's like a Jurassic Park night light. Oh, look, it lights up. 
That's awesome. It was just like over here, like in the home furnishings section. Uh, oh, there it is. There it is. Oh my God, there's so much cool stuff. All right, I'm at least gonna look this thing up and see what it's worth. Now yeah, we've got a, looks like a Voltron here. It's kind of cheaply made though, real, real light plastic. Well, I think that's how he transforms. I'm not 100%. His head is pretty loose though. I want to get it, but I got to refrain. I got to refrain. Oh, check out this lightsaber. I think that's uh, Kylo Ren's, right? That's a heavy duty one. That's a big one. It feels a little heavier than most of the ones I pick up as well. I wonder if it actually lights up. It's got to have batteries, right? Oh, yeah, I'm sure it does. There's the button. Yeah, that's pretty cool, man. And check out this uh, flywheels. It looks like you pull this cord and then you can make your tire like squawk, make it spin out, I guess. Never, never seen anything like, oh, there's actually... Looks like it's an extra wheel to one of these things, the twin turbo launcher. Well guys, I think you'd be proud of me. But if I said that, I'd be lying. <laughs> I got it, I got it. Okay, so here's how this is gonna work. The first store doesn't count. So it's the other four stores that we're looking for 70s, 80s, and 90s toys. I couldn't pass this up, man, I love mech. I love mech suits and shit like that. So let's do a little show and tell. Check this bad boy out. It's actually made by Chat May. I think it's Soldier Force maybe, but it's definitely made by Chat May and it's pretty badass. I mean, it's got like the little compartment here, the seat where your soldier can sit and run this bad boy. And uh, it does work, so check it out. Whoa. I need a I need a bigger surface. Let's take him outside. That is so cool, man. I love that he works. Oh, I can't wait to get him home and play with him. So yeah, the uh, the challenge doesn't start just yet. It's gonna start at Goody Wheel, which is where we're heading to next. So let's head that way and see what kind of goodies they got. All right, my friends, we are here. We are at the Goody Wheel. What you got for me today, Goody Wheel? What you got for me today? Hopefully you got some vintage toys for your boy, because that's what we're on the hunt for. We got a challenge going on today. <laughs> Oh man, such a failure. <laughs> All right, so fingers crossed, vintage Goodwill Gods be good to me today. All right, well, let's see. What do we got today? What do we got? Look at this, Shelby. What kind of car is that, do we know? GT350, I think we saw that last week. All right, anything else? It doesn't look like it. Oh, look, we got a pink dinosaur on a red. Red and pink. Looks like somebody mauled his face though. All right, we got a little sewing machine over here. Nothing, man. And, uh, oh, we got a Homer Simpson plush. Well, that looks a little older. That's kind of cool. Oh, and he's got like, he's got like rubber shoes or something. I'm gonna make it after us. Oh look, the back of his shirt says Pin Pals. All right. Well, there's no date on them, but I think that, you know, it wouldn't be good for us to risk this being like a 90s toy and I left it on the shelf. Because there's no date on him, I think we should go ahead and get him. I think he might actually talk too or something. He's got like a hard back right here. It's interesting. Oh yeah, I think maybe he does talk. Oh yeah, there's like a little button right there. All right, we could probably get him working at the house. That's cool. 
And the best part is, he's only a dollar sixty-one. Yeah, buddy. Go. Oh, check out this Hello Kitty barbecue set. <laughs> That's fun. All right, guys. We got Homer. And uh, because he doesn't have the date on him, I'm saying on a technicality that he's from the 90s. Just so I don't, you know, break my own word again. Man, I got an addiction, man. All right, so this guy actually talks. So I'm gonna have to go home and see if he works. If not, I think he's still pretty cool. So he's gonna go on display in the bunker. I don't know, maybe at some point I'll sell him. But for right now, he's all mine. So, all right, up next, Thrift Shitty, baby. All right, my friends, we are at the infamous, the notorious Thrift City. We're gonna score something cool in here today, man. We're gonna get some, we're gonna get some good old, good old boy vintage stuff. All right, so fingers crossed, vintage, Thrift store gods be good to me today. We'll rummage through some bags, we'll check the shelves, and then we'll check that glass case. All right, well, what do we got in the baggy section? Doesn't look like anything but plushes. Yeah, that's pretty much all it is. All right, let's check the shelves. Oh, look, we saw the Hello Kitty barbecue. Now we got this little barbecue. This is actually like, it looks like it's a, a cooler, but also a barbecue. Oh, well, maybe not. And what's this? We've got a busted up RC car. Anything down below? Nope. Got this little troll plushie. Well guys, I ain't seeing nothing. Oh look, it's a old one eye willies. Oh no, this is the ni Nina. The Nina, the Pinta, and the Santa Maria. What's this? Little hip hops. This is Angel. <laughs> Little hip hops. It's funny. All right, kids, you know what time it is. It's time to check the glass case. Oh, what do we got here? Another baby doll. Oh, it's kind of realistic looking. Oh, we got a Qbert. Hmm. I wonder how much they won for that. I've never seen a Qbert one before. We got a Duck Dynast Dynasty ATV. Anything else? We got this Beanie Baby over here. Yeah, I'm going to ask about that. Seen one of those in years. Take a cue from the cube. Hey, it's Cubert. Take a cue, me and you. And Cubert, me and you. And Cubert, me and you. And Cubert. Oh, Cubert, baby, down in Cubert. Oh, Cubert, Cubert, you're my favorite. Oh, Cubert, Cubert, you're my favorite. Oh man, busted. Didn't have to be a bust, it didn't have to be that way. I could have got the Qbert game. They wanted $10 for it, $10. And uh, I saw they sell for about that on eBay. Of course there was like shipping, like five, six bucks shipping. So you paid like 16 bucks, but <sighs> I got too much stuff. All right, up next, let's head off to Old Thrifty Pants on the other side of town, Old Thrift Giant, and see what kind of goodies they got. All right, my friends, we are here, we are here to hunt vintage toys. We wanna find vintage toys for your boy. Oh, vintage gods, oh, vintage gods. Thrift store vintage gods be good to me. <laughs> All right, fingers crossed. Vintage thrift store gods, vintage thrift store gods be good to me today. And let's see what we can find in here. All right, well, let's see what do we got. 
What do we got on the shelf today? What is that? Is that like Elsa's horse or something? All right, anything else? Got a Jeep. We got some horses. Oh, check out this. Uh, looks like a big old Clydesdale. Like a Budweiser horse. Anything else? Nope, I'm not really seeing nothing. Hey, check out this big old toy chest. That's pretty cool. Kind of reminds me of one I had when I was a kid. All right, guys. Busted. I thought it was weak. Busted. <laughs> I know somebody's going to tell me, bro, that Clydesdale was worth like $2,000 and you just passed it up. I know. Kind of wanted to get it. But again, I got too much stuff. <laughs> All right. Last stop of the day, Goody Wheel. Let's head that way and see what kind of goodies they got. All right, my friends. Final destination of the day, Goody Wheel. What you got for me today, Goody Wheel? What you got for me today? Hopefully, you help me finish strong and we find some vintage toys on the shelves. So, fingers crossed. Vintage Goodwill Gods be good to me today. Look at this guy coming in behind me. You see how he's come flying in there? It was like he was gonna try and run me over or something. All right, this is burst turf, baby. All right, let's see what they got. All right, guys, let's see, what do we got? I'll check that out. It's a Star Wars ship. I wonder how much they want for that thing. It's not vintage, but it's still pretty cool. Oops, we'll take that off. I thought I saw a little headpiece in there, oh yeah. Like a little headpiece in there too. I guess maybe that went to the figure. I don't even know who drove this. Is this like uh, Obi-Wan when he was young? Is this his? I don't know. I'm not familiar with the new Star Wars. And what is this? Oh, Area 51. Limited edition. It's a bobblehead. So do you guys just not do the anal probe anymore? Is that? No, that's more or less been retired. I see, I see. That is pretty cool. It looks older. The box looks faded. Maybe it's made to be, maybe it's made to look like that. Is there a date on it? Oh, it's from 2002? All right, well, I might actually pick that up. That's pretty neat. Well, this little guy recently sold for 30 bucks with free shipping, but still 30 bucks. And they only want, what did I see on it? $2.92. Yeah, I'm definitely going to snag this guy. And, uh, thinking about the Star Wars ship, but not 100% on it. How about over here in plushy land? I'm not really seeing anything. All right, so I'm kind of torn on this thing because it sells for like 30 to 50 bucks if it's complete, but it's missing the droid. And I saw some ones that sold missing the droid and they were like $45, but a best offer, which means they took less than 45 bucks. But how much less was it? Did they take 25? Did they take 30? Did they take 40? You know what I mean? Did they take 10? It's hard to say. I don't have that data, that information, but this thing is pretty cool. There's no price on it. And there's a lady working up at the front that usually price is pretty cheap. I may actually just get it. It's pretty cool. We got a Star Wars 500 piece puzzle over here. What's this? Goat Lords. Get your goat thievery, magic bombs, and mostly goats. Okay. <laughs> well, hey now, look at this. This is hiding in the back here. Check that out. What is this? Escape Death Star action figure game. Two exclusive action figures oh that's pretty awesome oh, okay look everything looks like everything's in here it's all sealed all right this is power of the force what year is this from oh look at that 1998 yeah we gotta get it guys we gotta get it all right guys we got some scores. We got some nostalgic 90s in the house. And that is 
affirmative. Unlike Homer Simpson, we got a 1998 Star Wars Death Star Escape board game and some other stuff. Let's do a quick show and tell. All right, here it is. The Death Star Escape the Death Star action figure game. We paid $8.98 for it. And here's the inside of it. Like I said in the store, it doesn't appear it's ever been opened. None of this stuff is like punched out. These must be like the different, well, there's little, like little stands for the figures, I guess. We got some dice. These must be little cards. These must be individual board games, I guess. But yeah, I mean, how cool is that, man? I've never seen one of these. And it's from 1998, even better. Oh, and here's the back of the box. Okay, so we got some little cardboard cutout figures, but then we have the actual action figures. That's pretty neat, I dig it. And it turns out this is Obi-Wan's starfighter, his starship, whatever. Just need to get the Troid for it. But she ended up selling it to me for $1.91. So even if I were to like resell it for like 20 bucks because it's incomplete, I'm still way ahead of the game. It's a sweet little ride. It's got this little mechanism here in the back. You pull this, let's see if I can do it with one hand. It's always hard to do stuff with one hand. There we go, do that. And then the wings flap out. Pretty sweet. And then last, but certainly not least, we got this Area 51 Gray Alien. Oh, he looks menacing. But yeah, uh, Nicole is kind of into aliens a little bit. She's been buying NFTs and she's got these NFTs called abducting MFers. Abducting MFers and they're like aliens that like abduct people and cows and stuff like that. But yeah, it's a pretty cool figure. It's from 2002. It's made by a company called Bosley or Bosley Bobbles. And uh, man, this dude is ripped. Do you work out? So I will be giving this to Nicole to go on her little her little table with all her toy collection, all her little toys, not all of her toy collection, just the ones she likes to put on display. So yeah, I'll be giving this to Nicole. And hey, I got a question for you. Do you like this content? Are you enjoying the content? Because if you like the content as much as I like making it for you, you can do me a huge favor and smash that like button because it helps my channel grow. Also, if you're new to the channel, Hit the subscribe button because I got a lot more great content coming your way and over 500 videos, 500 videos that you can start binge watching right now, starting with this next video. I know you're going to love it.